I was getting the warm sensations all the way down to my feet. I knew something wasn't right. And then I, more um, lumps started developing in my inner thighs. There was a couple of episodes that I had a lot of pain where I couldn't hardly walk. For a few years now, I've had major pain at the end of the day. Uh, in the last couple months, it's been major pain in my leg throughout the whole day. Before your closure procedure, your doctor wants you to understand venous reflux disease and what to expect before, during, and after your treatment. The venous system in your legs is made up of a network of veins, including superficial veins, veins located close to the surface of the skin, deep veins, larger veins located in the leg, and perforator veins veins that connect the superficial veins to the deep veins. Healthy leg veins contain valves that open and close to assist the return of blood back to the heart. Venous reflux disease develops when the valves that keep blood flowing from the legs back to the heart become damaged or diseased, making the valves unable to close properly and causing blood to pool in your legs. Superficial venous reflux disease can be progressive and, if left untreated, may worsen over time. Patients may show signs and symptoms such as varicose veins, restless legs, leg heaviness and fatigue, leg or ankle swelling, leg pain, aching or cramping, skin changes, and skin ulcers. The closure procedure may not be for everyone. Consult your doctor to see if the closure procedure is right for you. By seeking treatment, you have taken the first step toward recovery from these painful and unsightly problems. Prior to your procedure, your doctor will use ultrasound to scan your leg to map and mark the veins to be treated. Your leg will be cleaned and a local numbing solution is injected to reduce any sensitivity during the treatment procedure. Once your leg is numb, your doctor inserts the closure fast catheter into the vein through a tiny incision near the knee. Radio frequency energy is delivered to a heating element at the end of the catheter. As energy passes through this heating element to the inside wall of the vein, it causes the vein to shrink around the catheter. When the device is pulled back, the treated section of the vein closes. Typically, patients report little to no discomfort because of the numbing solution. If patients report any sensation, most mention only a mild sensation of warming. However, patients' experience may vary based on each patient's condition. The catheter is pulled down the vein after each segment is treated. Your doctor confirms the precise location of the catheter by monitoring the ultrasound image. This is what it looks like. Once the vein is closed, the body begins rerouting blood flow through deeper, healthy veins, and the symptoms generally begin to lessen. Most patients report immediate relief from the pain and aching in their legs and see the swelling disappear within a week or two. Following the treatment, a simple bandage is put over the incision. To aid healing, your doctor will have you wear compression stockings for a short period of time. It is important for you to follow all of your doctor's instructions, which may include walking, avoiding long periods of sitting or standing, and refraining from strenuous activities for a while. Patients are often able to get up off the table and walk, generally returning to normal activities the same day. Individual results may vary. Consult your doctor to discuss potential side effects. Within two days, everything was gone. The lumps, the, the heaviness, the fatigue, the warmth, everything was gone. All of a sudden, I'm not thinking of anything. I'm standing up taller, I'm walking faster, and there's no pain. It's not a procedure that'll put you down for a couple days or a week, and you have to take time to recover. Your recovery is a day. You walk out the office that day.